Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. It will be from the 11th to the 17th of January 2021 for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well Taurus and let's get straight into your reading and pull your angel answer card. So what do we have please angel spirits guides for Taurus? Okay. <laughs> nice message no need to worry if you are wor worrying if you are concerned about something you're being told don't worry you are being watched over guided it's a very beautiful energy okay let's pull another card what do we have for taurus please angel spirits guides for the week what does taurus need to hear the most please message for taurus thank you message for Taurus please angel spirits guides okay so I've got acceptance maybe it's coming to terms with something accepting something maybe accepting that you can, there's kind of like an energy with the acceptance card of accepting that you there's certain things that you can't change and there's certain things that you can you know, and focusing on the things that you can change in your life now. It might well be that energy. It feels quite beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to pull four cards, Taurus. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, what do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides for Taurus? What does Taurus need to hear the most for the week, please? 11th to the 17th of January, 2021. Okay. That flew out. <laughs> okay, so I've got the Chariot. Germany is a card of cancer for me as a reader. Nine of coins is your challenge. Three of wands is advice from spirit. And the seven of coins is your outcome, which is Taurus energy. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Taurus. Okay, so what do we have, please, for Taurus? Message for Taurus, please, for the week. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Taurus? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I've got three of ones again. Poignant message. I do get duplicates in my readings a lot because it's the way that angel spirits guides, guide us. Want to emphasize a point here. So, yeah, I've got Chariot again in your challenge position. Okay, and the Three of Wands, we have the Seven of Cups. Lots of Sevens here, which is a beautiful connection with divine energy, uh, divine guidance. So it's a really magical number, the number Seven. And the Seven of Coins, we have the Nine of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. So Taurus, the chariot is a card of a victory, success, accomplishment by determination, taking the reins of your life, charging ahead, overcoming any obstacles. That could be internal obstacles as well. Certainly with this acceptance energy, overcoming your own internal energies, barriers, um, eyes on the prize towards success. And there's a message with the three of wands is you're wanting to manifest this success, this victory. So it's interesting because the Three of Wands turns their back. They're only focused on what's ahead. And interestingly enough, the Chariot can be a card of moving from A to B. It can be about life transitions or life shifts. 
but it can be a card of, of leaving something behind to focus on something new, the new goal. And the Three of Wands is the beginnings, the first signs of success, the first signs of it coming your way. Um, there is definitely an energy of if you have been taking action towards a specific path, towards manifesting growth, um, the victory is coming. The victory is coming. The success is coming. And that is the chariot energy. It feels like you're waiting for that success to happen. I mean, the three of wands is manifestation energy. It's a three. And the three in tarot is the first signs of something happening being created, manifested. There's growth, expansion. But it's not quite there yet. It's coming though. And that's what you're being told. And what is, what is the challenge? Well, you want the victory. You want the success in the form of the nine of, of pentacles. And that's what this victory is all about for you. The nine of coins is, it feels to do with more money, more material security, financial success, career success, job success, call it what you will. I mean, if you have your own business, it might well be that you, there's more money, you need more money. I mean, it, it could be that you've been affected by the pandemic. Um, the Nine of Coins is the card of luxury, having enough. Um, somebody who has earned every one of their pentacles, who knows their worth, who knows how to use their practical skills and abilities and focus them in such a way to bring material success into their lives. The nine of coins, the nines generally can also represent a personal journey, your personal sense of achievement and goal. Um, the ten sometimes being that it can be for you and other people. Whereas the nine is it's your kind of victory. You know, that's what this is. It's your success. It's what you're personally focused on, what you're personally working towards. And in this energy, there's an energy, even though there's a challenge, it feels it's coming. And that's what Spirit is saying. It's coming your way. So definitely an energy of keep taking action because the, the seven of, of cups is a card of hopes, dreams and wishes. And it feels for some of you, you're wanting to make one of these hopes, dreams and wishes a reality that could involve choices, decisions. It might well be in order for something to come your way, there may well be some choice or decision that you need to make here. But it feels definitely with this energy, the Seven of Cups, you're being told by Angel Spirits Guides. It could be opportunity is coming. I mean, this victory could be the opportunity that will manifest in the form of, that will translate to this Nine of Pentacles. So maybe some kind of opportunity that you really want, that you've been wanting to manifest, is, is coming your way that will tie in with this success card, material success. So it, it feels very beautiful, but also very much what you're hoping for, your hopes, dreams and wishes that are waiting, almost kind of like you're waiting for them to take form, to manifest. There's definitely an energy here from spirit that it's coming. It's coming and that's, it's, you know, I mean, you know, this is why I'm getting the repeat cards because all Spirit wants to tell you is, don't worry, it's coming. Because you have been tested, Saturn and Taurus, you have been tested. You know, and the, the journey has been difficult. But there is an energy of don't give up now, because you're so close. You're so close to manifesting this hope, dream and wish. So definitely the seven of pentacles is, it can be a card of good things come to those that are patient, but also those that persevere. Because the seven of coins is, it can be a card of taking stock, evaluation. I put so much time and energy into this. Is it ever going to happen? Because I don't think it's ever going to happen. And it's at that point where you're being told, no, this is where you need to find strength. This is where you need to find that perseverance, that determination and focus. Because for some of you, you're so close, so, so close in, in getting the goal. And the two of wands, it might well be for some of you that this 
there could be some choice or decision that's involved in this Taurus in terms of getting to the end goal. Like I said, I mean, the seven of coins can be a card evaluation, taking stock. It can be, what do I focus my time and energy on now? You know, do I focus my time and energy in what I'm not getting reward on? You know, do I refocus my energy and where I'm going to see the greatest growth? You know, it's that kind of energy. So there could be something to do with decisions, choices here. For example, if you're looking to move from one job to another, there could be, again, there could be some choice or decision that you need to make. Do I stay in my current place or do I move somewhere new? And do I take steps towards something new? It feels like for some of you, you've been manifesting something and there's a feeling of it's coming. So it might well be in this situation that you've been wanting to move, to, to move jobs, relocation or get promotions. I mean, it's that kind of energy, but there's some kind of choice or decision that you need to make in order to translate to, to upgrade this seven of coins to this nine of coins. So could be decisions about your future. You know, this, the two of, two of wands can be about decisions on your future. Um, because the seven of coins can be sometimes a card of perseverance, Um, evaluation, frustration though, frustration, I'm only, I'm only doing all this work, all this effort, and I'm only getting the seven of coins and I want the nine of coins. So for some of you, it feels like you're manifesting some kind of victory, some kind of success, some kind of achievement that's linked with your hopes, dreams and wishes here. And it feels like you're, you're planning for your future and it might well be because you're frustrated on your current situation. So you're taking steps or you have been taking steps to bring greater financial gain into your life, but it doesn't feel like it's manifesting. Well, spirit is telling you that it's coming. It's coming. Um, the message is just keep persevering. Can also be an choice between two opportunities as well, Taurus as well, the two of... The two of wands. Yeah, I, I feel in this situation you you want more material gain, more material success. And you've been taking steps to do that. And it, it feels at this situation, it might well be this, this a choice to stay on the path that you're on or a choice to move somewhere new. It might not just be manifesting or it might not be appearing as quickly as you want it to. And that's the frustration with the seven of coins. But there's a message of persevere because it's coming. Let's clarify this two of wands, please. Let's clarify this two of wands. I mean, the two of wands is the beginnings of progress, in a sense. You're going from the ace of wands to the two of wands. So, yeah, you see we have the five of cups which can be about um looking at that it can be about looking at the negative on the situation and yet there's still hope so again there's this feeling of i mean the the five of cups can be sometimes to do with loss it can be to do with i mean it could be to do with lost income lost jobs or or something that's making you feel negative about your current situation. And there's a message, the more you look on the, the cups that are empty, that are on the floor, that are broken and shattered, and there's no liquid in them anymore, you miss out on the great opportunity and hope that's around you. And again, this two of cups, which is linking in, if I feel, with this two of wands. There's a message here, Taurus. It feels like something hasn't manifested, and yet there's a message that it will. So the message is there is still hope in this situation, and you need to focus on that. Don't get frustrated and down on the fact that something hasn't happened quite as quickly as you wanted it to, because it's coming. And that's what I keep on getting. It's coming. There's no need to worry. Accept the things that you can't change and focus on the things that you can. And that's what I got at the beginning. You know, 
just don't allow yourself to focus on that negative, the three cups that are empty. Focus on the two cups that are full, that are still full of potential and opportunity. There's still hope here. I'm just going to take the two that have turned up. And that's what you're being told. I mean, look. So the star energy is, what is this hope? What is this victory that's coming? Well, it's going to put you back on top. Because the star is that sense of renewal, um, faith, have hope, have faith. There is still hope in the situation. You are on the right path. Whatever choice you're making here with this two of wands, whatever you're wanting to manifest, whatever you're feeling frustrated because it's not happening quickly enough, there is hope. You're on the right path. And you're on the right path to being back in your power, achieving stability, success, security, safety in your life. You are the king of coins, male or female energy. And the king of coins is somebody who understands how to manifest money. They understand how to manifest success. They understand how to manifest material security, abundance uh, in all aspects of their life. You know, there is it's a stable, secure, uh, financially savvy energy. You know, um, so you'll be back on top and there's definitely an energy of what's coming. You will put you back on top, back in your element. Now, because I've pulled extra cards, it might not be this week, but you're being told focus on the things that you can control. Focus on the things that matter. The perseverance will pay off because this is a card of divine wish fulfillment. Whatever your hopes, dreams and wishes were, you know, and again, the Seven of Cups, your hopes, dreams and wishes. What are your hope, dream and wishes? It's coming your way. And the message is you're going to get it. You're going to get that hope, dream and wish, the star, the blessing. So I love the energy here. Okay. Let's pull a final card for Taurus, please. Thank you. Yeah. What did I say? The star, blessings, magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. And we have solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasure, treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. I mean, there's kind of an energy here, Taurus. I mean, there may well be some solitude that you've experienced. Certainly that if you've experienced job, job loss or isolation due to the pandemic, you know, it's that kind of energy. But what it's allowing you to do is focus on new hopes, new dreams, new wishes. And even though they don't feel like they're manifesting as quickly as you want them to, there is the beginnings of progress in a situation. And there's a message that whatever you're focusing on, focusing on the things that can change, because you're going to get your wish that will put you back on top. Back in your element. So I love the energy here. It's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Taurus, and I will see you next time. Thank you.